These are the plaintiffs. Fuima, Fatina, Rogers, Banks, and Darrow Banks. Fuima says she and her husband rented an apartment from the defendant, and the guy's trying to pull a fast one on them by not returning all of their security on trumped-up damages. That's right. The defendant is lying through his teeth about imaginary damages. They're not going to let the likes of him get away with stealing their money and are suing him for the $1,200 they're owed. This is the defendant, Charles Timmons. He says the plaintiffs cracked the sink in the bathroom doing who knows what in there together. But hey, that's not against the law. In addition, he had to do extensive renovations to the floors and walls. He has the receipts to prove it, and he has every right to withhold what he did. He's accused of holding on tight to money's owed. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiffs rented an apartment from the defendant, and they say that he literally stole from them. But the defendant says the plaintiffs cracked the sink, and it seems he knows exactly what they were doing when it broke. It's the case of Sexy Sinky. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Fuima Fatina Rogers Banks and Daryl Banks, you are suing Charles Timmons, your former landlord, for the return of $1,200 in security deposit plus interest that you say he owes you. Yes. All right, tell me what happened. In May of 2014, we moved into Charles Timmons' uh, apart department that he was renting out there. Um, How many units are there? There are three units. We moved out in December 25th of 2016. After we vacated, we t I took pictures of the apartment. Were you in the middle of a lease or no? No. Okay. You the just... lease was up. Okay. So when you left, did you take pictures, you said? Yes. These are the move-out pictures. Gotcha. So these are the pictures that you took of the place when you Moved left. out. That's funny. Your pictures are actually physically damaged. Not, not oh, the... Oh, they scratched. Like, yeah, they're all scratched up. What happened to your pictures? I printed them out at work, so that's how they came out. And what? <laughs> then what? Then you attack them? Because when you're trying to show how nice a place looks, I don't usually get pictures where the physical pictures damage as opposed to the items, you know? It's kind of funny. All right, so according to you, when you left, you know that there was a crack in the sink. Yes. yes. And how'd the crack get there? I was trying to kill a bug. Really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a picture of the damage to the sink? Yes. Let me see that. Do you have any proof of what a sink cost so that I know that what you deducted was adequate? Um, yes, I, I did, because I was trying to yeah. help things along. Yeah. So I did get a, as, some estimates from Home Depot. OK. That's a pretty pretty crap. <laughs> How did you think that got there? You know, I, I'm, oh, I can't speculate, Your Honor. But, um... Oh, but you have. <laughs> <laughs> I you just, just don't want to speculate now in front of me, but in your, in your answer to the complaint, you're like, well, what are they doing on there? That Somebody's sitting on that sink doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but I mean, they're well, sitting the on the evidence. sink. Let me just ask you, when you, they had a security deposit, which was $1,200? Yes. All right, and uh, did you return any of it? No, uh, Your Honor, a couple things. Um, Due to a little bit of resource constraints, and I set the expectations with them, uh, the project to re renovate and to get estimates. And wait, 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 neither they nor I care if you're renovating the place. Well, the only thing that matters is did they damage the place? Well, yes. That's so part. that's what I need to know. Right. That's, what, what evidence do you have that they damaged the place and that therefore you'd be able to keep the entire security deposit? Tell me about it. Uh, pictures right here. The okay. floors had to be redone. The floors um, had to be redone. Yeah. So what was wrong with the floors? They're right here in the pictures. Okay. So just the basic wear and tear, Your Honor. Yeah, the um, basic wear and tear doesn't get you. You don't get to keep a security deposit over basic wear and tear. No, and, That's and exactly was, what, and, and that is specifically what you don't get to keep it for. What is wrong with these floors? What's all that white stuff? That looks like is just dirt. Is that just dirt? I, it, quite possibly, Your Honor. Okay, so let's picture. go to the next yeah. picture. Now that's the floor yes. separating and shifting. That how is that? How could that ever be a tenant's fault? Your Honor, well, I mean, what they could had you, a lot of What do you think furniture. the tenants did to separate one plank from another? Your Honor, you know, they had a lot of furniture in that in the apartment, and um, I never said no. You're not getting it back. Well, I never said that. They had to sue you for it. 
Well, I and notified you're, and you're, them. And you're saying things like, well, let's see how much this renovation cost me. It's not up to them to help you renovate it for the next tenant. It's They have to pay for everything they did wrong to it minus normal wear and tear. That's the only thing they don't have to pay for, the phrase normal wear and tear. Now, if the floors are separating, which I see what you're saying, and that, that can happen. I've had that happen in houses in Florida. But that's not something that they would have to pay for unless it's something that they did. So if you have a cash flow problem, that's your issue. That's not their issue. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. So what other, other pictures of damage do you have? I, I got you on the sink. And you had, you had confessed to another issue. There was a sink. And what else that you were? Oh, one of the doors came off the hinges. So how much did you deduct for that? From well, when I s took the picture at Home Depot, that same door was literally $40. It was 38 and change. And what about uh, installing the door? The door, it only takes... Uh, oh, good. Why didn't you just change it then? <laughs> uh, right? Since it's only 40 bucks and it takes nothing, why didn't you just replace uh. it? So do landlords typically screw over tenants when it comes to returning security? Yes, they do. Why do you say? I've experienced it firsthand. Uh, you need something fixed, you ask for them to fix it, and they'll wait until you're leaving to tell you that it's an issue that you were supposed to fix and then keep your deposit. Okay. Well, that's a specific case. Do you think generally they screw you over? I never had an experience like that because I own a house. God, I'm having no luck here. Okay, well, you're a renter, so I might as well go back to you. Do they screw you over or not? No, they don't. I think that they give you your security deposit back if you didn't do anything to the house. Okay, that sounds so reasonable. Okay, going inside the card room. Your demand was for 900 of the 1200, right? Yes. Okay. Your response came a little bit late in the game. I mean, it came like a month and a half or so later when you were assessing how much everything was costing you. But what did you do to the place? It's all right here. Replace floors in front bedroom, living room, side bedroom, and back bedroom. Install toe molding in all rooms. Why would they have to pay for that? That's... Right. Install new smoke detectors. Did they steal the old ones? They did something with them. They weren't there. They weren't there. Did you take the smoke detectors? No. no. Did you detach the smoke detectors and stick them somewhere because they were annoying you? No. That's usually what happens. <laughs> Install happened. new light fixture in kitchen, back, si back and side bedroom. So you're renovating all the light fixtures, but what did they do to them? Why did they have to pay for that? Okay, install 30-inch vanity sink top, because that costs money. Besides buying the sink top, unless you're going to replace the sink top, which I noticed you didn't do, that costs money. All right. Change the locks on the front and the rear door. Is that something they did wrong, or are you just as a precaution you do that? Precaution. Yeah, they, they don't have to pay for that. Clean entire apartment fridge and stove. I saw the pictures. Their, their apartment was pretty clean. What do you feel wasn't clean? Um, Your Honor, as far as w when we're doing the work, well, the that's the thing. You're paying this guy to do the work, and you're confusing the, yourself with them. They are not the landlord. If you're paying somebody to upkeep the place because otherwise you think it will be hard for you to re-rent, that's on you. Regrout shower and tub area. What did they do to the grout? Cock the windows and doors. You should be doing that. And you don't have an itemized bill, so if I don't end up, it's always good when you come to court as a landlord to have an itemized bill, because what if the judge doesn't agree with everything you're asking for, which clearly I'm not? Mm -hmm. Then I don't know how much each thing is, and I just got to kind of spitball it in my head. You understand? So it would be better always to have an itemized bill. Douglas, what time is it? Time for a little rough justice. That's right. <laughs> Based on the damages that I think you should be responsible for and those that I don't think you should be responsible for, I am finding in uh, your favor, not in the total amount that you're looking for, but in the amount of $650 mm -hmm. plus prejudgment statutory interest from the time that it was owed that you left. Okay? Okay. That's my judgment. Good luck, folks. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Well, the plaintiffs are going to get it back a little bit over a half of the amount they were suing for, $650, I think. Uh, what do you think? You know, um, I put a lot into it. You, and, you didn't uh, have enough evidence, you know? If you'd had more receipts, well, it would have been a huge help to you. Yeah, I had a lot of receipts in there, but, you know, it is what it is. It is. <laughs> Sorry, but you got to pay it. Okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. You must sign a few documents out there. So the plaintiffs recover a little over half, 650 of what they were seeking, and then plus a little bit of interest, so a little bit over half what you were seeking. You okay with that? 
Oh, we're okay with that. It's interesting. You showed pictures. The apartment looked really pretty. And then he showed pictures, and they showed all the bad things, you know? So your pictures didn't match each other. But anyway, so be it. You all right now? We okay. Okay, you all right? Good. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Harvey? Okay, you know, Doug, you should know that in a lot of states, if a landlord has no basis for holding a security deposit, they can actually retain two and sometimes three times, excuse me, they have to pay two and three times the amount that is wrongfully withheld.